Hi, welcome to Sociology. My name's Kerry, this is my channel. I hope you've all well and you've all had time to do some sewing. Um, I went to see the Alexander McQueen exhibition in Melbourne yesterday and it was just amazing. I'm going to be putting lots of videos up on. So this video is solely to do with Alexander McQueen, but I also got thinking about some of the styles I saw I would love to try and recreate in um, denim using scraps and I'm going to put some video uh, pictures up of which ones I would like to do. Now it's going to be a challenge but I thought it'd be something a bit different so um, this might be in two parts so this is going to be my inspiration for Alexander McQueen first and then I am going to do some videos. I'm going to try and recreate some of his looks, but in denim. So they won't be exactly the same as him, obviously, because I'm not Alexander McQueen. I don't have his talent or skill. But I was so inspired by some of the designs of his. Um, I wanted. I, I looked at the simpler ones uh, so I could actually achieve them. But I really wouldn't mind having a go. I've got so much scrap denim. Um, I really want to do something with it and um, I reckon some of these designs would um, sit well with it. So, um, yeah. So the first one I'm thinking about is um, this lovely cutout one. Now this is leather on some kind of net, but um, I think I could do something similar with the denim and put it on... Uh, uh, I'm still net, but uh, maybe a lightweight denim, so not a heavy one. And uh, yeah, I'd um, like to try that one. So that's um, one of them I'm going to try. The next one is this green one. Now it's embossed and it's got a lot of um, riveting down and some nice lovely lacing down the back. Um, I wouldn't mind having a go at that, but I know it's like stiffer fabric, so it might not work. But this is just something I'm thinking about doing and that uh, I'll have a go. It might not work with a denim. I might need like a heavier weight denim maybe or even kind of um, layer it so it's thicker. But this is another one I'm thinking of doing. It's got these little fastenings. <laughs> Now this one is the brown leather and I absolutely love it. And what I love about most about it, I'm looking down at the picture so I can see what I'm showing you. Um, I love all the paneling up at the top and um, the little cutouts on the sleeves and also a bit of um, embroidery down the, um, down the panels and the little cutouts on the bottom as well. I really wouldn't mind having a go at that. So this black one here, it looks a little bit like black denim already, but it could be, I'm not quite sure what it is. It could be like, um, could be some kind of denim twill actually, but I like the um, lacing down it, down the, um, down the fronts here. Um, and the, again, the little uh, peplum bit at the bottom, that looks really good. Um, I'm not sure about all those buttons down the front, but maybe simplify mine, but that's another one I'm looking at. Now, this one will be a real challenge. And what I was thinking, you know, you get all the um, the double line seams from denim jeans, um, piecing all those together to make that nice chevron look. Now, it's going to take a lot, I know. Um, I mean, if that doesn't work, then I'll maybe just cut up strips and do something like that because... My sewing machine will not go through a thick denim, but um, yeah, that's another idea I'm looking at for this brown leather jacket. I'm um, just looking at it again. It has some perforations in it, so I probably won't be able to show that. Maybe um, I'll think of a way I could do that. Um, yeah, it's got some nice perforations in it. It could be achieved by laser cutting. I'm not sure. Like those hearts down the um, down the side of either side of the buttons, that could be achieved by laser cutting. So that's something I could look into too. This jacket I absolutely love. It reminds me of 1940s jacket. Um, 
I love the detail up at the top and the uh, and the pockets on the sleeves and the angled pockets at the front are absolutely gorgeous. So I might have a go at that. Not necessarily in denim. Oh, maybe maybe I will do it in denim. Who knows? This may be my, my denim Alexander McQueen nod. So I'm going to have a go at that too. This one here is a little bit um, owed to the 80s and the fringing and uh, the rock and roll, rock, not rock and roll, like rock music. Um, but I actually really like the fact that it's printed. So we'll print something on it first and then slash the, slash the, um, slash from the yoke down and then it looks like tassels. Um, so that's another thing I'm looking to have a go at. Um, yeah, I can't remember what the front looks like, so uh, probably didn't take notice of that. Or maybe you couldn't see the front. Um, I'll see if I can do some digging on that one, see if I can find out a bit more. But um, and if I have a picture, I will put it up here. But yeah, I really like the um the slashing of the fabric and letting it uh, hang like fringing. So that's another one. This one. Um, the cutout has been laser cut, you can tell. Uh, there is a little bit of damage to it and I presume it's either been through wearing or moving or packaging. But um, yeah, this is really cute little snowflake design. So I'm thinking um, maybe not denim because um, no, nah, I think it might, it won't fray from the laser cutter, but I don't think it might, it'll give the same effect. I'm not sure. Um, I might have some scrap denim somewhere I might have a go with. So that's something definitely I wouldn't mind a go with. Um, cutting out on the laser cutter and then layering on to some plain fabric. I love all his tartan collections he did. And I particularly love this dress. Um, but it would be a real challenge to pattern match those um tartan lines going across so that's another one i've always wanted to make something out of tartan so um that's another possibility i'll be looking into and i particularly like the ways um put the lace on at the bottom uh, i'm not quite sure about the neck ruffle probably wouldn't do that um so yeah something about tartan and there's some more tartan pictures i'll find for you too that i really like <laughs> So yeah, this tartan one, I absolutely love how it's off center and it's looking at the traditional men's kilt and that's what he's obviously looked at because he has some Scottish heritage, which he looked at. And I love the way it's pleated on the side like it, like a kilt, but then it's been pulled up and over some um, tulle. Now, if I was making that for myself, I think I would make it black tulle just for a bit more dramatic effect. But um yeah, that's definitely some kind of dress I really would, wouldn't mind trying. Now, corsets are something I have uh, have always been interested in, but i never really had the, the time or mindset to actually delve into it properly and make one. So it is on my list to do. I think, I can't remember whether I put it on my Make 9 at the start of the year. I'll have to check that back on the video, but... Of course, it is something I've always wanted to do as well. I mean, I did think about losing weight before I started making one because, yeah, the measurements are going to be a bit weird. But I love all the detail on the corset here under the busts and everything. So um, I might have a go at that and add that too. This dress here, I absolutely love all the patchworking look about it. I think it looks really nice. And I think in different types of denim, you could do pinstripe denim and light denim, dark denim, different shades of denim, um, bleached. You could do different shades to show up all that detail that you can see on the patchworking part of uh, the skirt and the jacket. It looks particularly cute. Um, yeah, I was drawn to this one as a, as a patchworking sustainable piece. <laughs> The next series of uh, pictures I'm going to show you are like body armor over dresses and the, obviously the dresses are digitally printed but I particularly like the um, body armor over them and uh, again I think it could be achieved in denim. Um, some are embossed so it probably couldn't be done but you could always get the effect by with stitching maybe. 
Um, uh, so I'll show you a couple of those. So this brown one is um, ha is coupled with a belt as well. Uh, I'm not sure if it's part of the dress. <laughs> So this black one is another type of body armor over the top of the dress and i particularly like this one this is embossed um so probably wouldn't be able to get that effect in the denim but i just like the shaping and how it's just layered over the top of the dress so i think i'd have a go at that too you can see the back of the black one that's embossed and it's all fastened together with buckles at the back i really like that so um, i'm going to be investigating that too <laughs> Now this grey, this grey one looks leather, or like a pleathery type thing. It's like a metallic -y. It's it's like you know that kind of leather you get that's got a s soft feel to it. Not suede, but it's got some kind of coating on it that makes it feel soft. It looks like that. I think that would lend well to leather uh, to denim too. So that's another one I've got in mind. I just love the paneling and how it falls down at the side. The little ruffles at the back. So I'm going to be um investigating ways on how to do that one so uh, yeah i really like that too and um hopefully i'll come back to you with another video on um something possibly made or attempted um yeah leave a comment down below if you which one was your favorite which one you know would you make have you got anything that you might um would have a go at and uh, leave a comment below please subscribe if you haven't done already and please like the video it really helps me out